A pleasant day to everyone. For this lesson, we will talk about the fundamental tools and concepts of financial planning in business life. For this lesson, the student will understand what is business planning, the steps in business planning, and also the concept of financial planning such as the sales budget, the production budget, the budgeting, and also the cash budget. After which, the students also will identify the two factors in sales budget. First, let's discuss about the financial planning. By the definition, this is the process including budget standard preparation, cash management, and working capital management. So in here, the businesses must have a projection so that they can identify what are the necessary actions that the businesses need, needs to do for them to taking care of their financial stability. And then now, let's talk about the steps in financial planning. First step, businesses need to take a look or review whatever the strategic plan of the business. So, so once we talk about strategic planning, ito po ay napaka-importante sa lahat ng businesses. It's either ito pong business na to or malaki na or kasi simula pa lang. Bakit? Because this is a process to figure out where the company or the businesses is going and how they get there. But it's also so much more than that. So once we talk about the strategic plan, again, this is defined on what are the business are and also they can list some of the concrete action to achieve the necessary goals for the business. And also, para po hindi magkaroon ng mga unexpected no, events sa business, they really need to have a strategic plan so that it can help the business to survive and also find new opportunity while staying true to their values and their mission. So, kailangan, no, in in doing financial planning, you need to take a look. Okay, kung yung plano ba na gagawin natin in terms of our finances are suitable or connected to on sa strategic planning business. And then for the second step, we have here develop financial projection. So once we talk about projection, it deals with the forecasting. Okay, paano mo fino forecast or how did you predict what will be the income of your business? So in here, syempre, you cannot project without data. Okay, so the data must be based on your sales, based on your expenses. Okay, expenses in terms of um, paying your laborer or paying your supplies or some of your overhead costs. So, usually, ginagawa ang tinatawag na financial projection kapag po ang business ay hindi favorable sa kanila ang sitwasyon. So, like for example, um, si business kumukontent na lang ng kanyang market or let's say, uh, nagkakaroon siya ng mga restriction yan because of the government's laws and regulations. So, kapag kaganito yung nangyayari, automatically, yung pagpasok ng pera or yung income sa business is lalong nagiging tight. So, in this event, sa business, usually ang ginagawa niya, they assist the business weekly, they're forecasted the business weekly kung kaya ba mo makasurvive in the next few weeks, in the next few months by the having different costs. Kung paano nila ma-over, um, yung mga costs or yung expenses nila. And also, um, in preparing the projected income, so syempre kasama dyan yung tinatawag na profit and losses. Ayan. So sa, project, sa profit and losses natin, we can saw it in our balance sheet. Ayan. And also, uh, napaka-useful nito. Bakit? Kasi dito natin makikita kung ano po yung magiging impact no, ng projection na ito sa ating business. And then for the third one, we have here the arranged financing. Ayan. So, pag sinabing financing, again, uh, hindi ka pwedeng mangutang kapag po hindi mo nakita sa iyong projecto, projection o sa iyong forecast na kakailanganin mo mangutang. Okay? So, if ever you're going to loan or if you're going to lend money, that is based on your forecast. That is based on your plan. So, in here, again, uh, having the projections, you can determine your financial needs. You can also approach some of the financial partners ahead of time to discuss your options so that the well-prepared projection will help reassure bankers that your financial management is solid. Obviously, ayan, once we lend money, it's either that is paid from the bank or came from different institutions, it's either private or public. Yan. Okay, they need to reassure na, or they need to they need to reassure na mababayaran natin sila. Para ma-assure sila na mababayaran natin sila, we need to present the proper documents on when can we pay okay, for whatever the certain amount of that. And another thing is kung yung ilutong ba natin, ay kikitain din natin. Okay, so yun yung mga 
uh, kinoconsider natin once we arrange our financing or kapag po tayo ay mangungutang na. For number four, we have here the plan for contingency. When we talk about contingency, this is what we call alternative. Ibig sabihin may mga options tayo. Meron tayong uh, pwede pang maging plano. Ayan. It's a good idea to have emergency sources of money before you need them. The possibilities include maintaining a cash reserve or keeping lots of a room on your line of credit. So, hindi lang po ang ating uh, pagkukuna ng pera is about our is came from our sales. Kasi nga, like what I'm saying, kanina may mga possibilities na hindi talaga kumikita si business. So, paano niya ma-recover ang kanyang mga expenses or paano niya mag-upotok po ang kanyang business kahit po somehow um, hindi favorable ang kanilang kinikita para doon sa kanilang expenses. And for the business, keep on moving kailangan niya po magkaroon ng tinatawag na emergency fund. So, kailan ito ginagamit? By the word emergency, ito po yung talagang walang-wala na. Okay? Wala na talaga siyang pwede pong pagkunan, kundi ito na lang. And then, for the last step, we have here, monitor. Ayan. Bakit kailangan natin ng monitoring? Because all through years, or time to time, no, you, you can compare your actual result with your projection to see if your target or need to adjust. Monitoring also help you to spot financial problems before they get out of hand. And then, uh, all throughout, no, na pagpaplano mo in terms of your finances or business finance, okay, kailangan mo syempre ng mga tinatawag na financial advisor. Okay? Uh, malaki po ang natitulong nila kasi po, they going to give you different financial advice literally because they have a lot of data or they have a lot of sources no, para po maging panuntunan mo or para po maging guide mo doing work and also doing planning we have here the smart ito po ay napaka generic na no, sa lahat ng uh, business planning or management planning organization planning bakit kasi po uh, napaka uh, useful nito no? once we do planning so una dyan is what, is what we have the specific ayan. so once we talk about the specific whatever your goal it must be simple it must be sensible and also it must be significant no? sa business natin it must be clear okay? it must be reachable ayan. so dito okay, dapat po we are specific kung ano ba yung dapat i-accomplish kaano ba ka-importante yung goal Okay, sino-sino yung mga taong involved para dito? Paano ito gagawin? Saan ito gagawin? Okay, how to simulate it? And also, ano-ano yung mga resources na kakailanganin? At ano lang po yung mga limitasyon natin sa paggalaw. Okay, and also, which resources or limits are involved? And then, next is we have the measurable. Napaka-importante rin po to, to have a measurable goal so that you can track your progress and stay motivated. You need to assess progress for you to help to stay focused so that you can meet your deadline and feel the excitement of getting closer to achieving your goal. So in here, uh, for us to have a measurable goal, kasama dito yung mga um, idea or let's say yung mga details on how much, kaano ba kadami, how will I know when it's accomplished. So, measurable. Okay? Makikita mo. Ibig sabihin, Meron siyang hangganan. Next is we have achievable. Your goal also need to be realistic and attainable. Ayan. Bakit? For you to become successful. In, in other words, it should stretch your abilities but still remain possible. When you set an achievable goal, you may be able to identify previously overlooked opportunities or resources that can bring you closer to it. So, may mga questions tayo para dyan. How can you accomplish your goal? Okay, how realistic is the goal based on other constraints such as financial factors? And then, we have here the relevance or the realistic na tinatawag. So, bakit meron ano ito? For us to reassure our goals matters in our business. Siya po ba ay makakatulong? And it also align with other relevant goals. The businesses also need to have a support and assistance in achieving this goal. But it's also important to retain control over them. So that the businesses can make sure that the plans drive everyone forward. But the businesses also need to be still responsible for achieving their own 
goal. So, a relevant goal can answer yes to the following question. Una dyan, does this since work it? Is this the right time? Does this match our other efforts or needs? Or am I right person to reach the school? Is it applicable in the current socioeconomic environment? So, kapag pa sinabing relevant or realistic, again, okay, kailangan po align, no? yung ating plano doon sa strategic plan o doon sa goal ni business. And for the last is the timely or the time bound. Napaka-importante po na magkaroon tayo ng target date. Bakit? Kasi po ang pagpaplano ay hindi po yan unlimited. Ibig sabihin, once we are done with one plan, we need to set another plan again. Ang pagkakaroon po kasi ng deadline, um, nagkakaroon tayo ng determination to finish it. In this determination, we can focus on and something to work towards. This part of the SMART goal criteria helps you to prevent everyday tasks from taking priority over your long-term goal. So, kapag ka tayo ba na pinag-uusapan, the question is when, kailan matatapos, what can I do in the six months from now, or uh, let's say six weeks from now, what can I do today. So, may mga tinatawag tayo na time bound. And next, we have here the concept of financial planning. In here, we have sales budget, production budget, budgeting, and the cash budget. So, isayin po natin. In sales budget, this is the most important account and financial statement. And making a forecast is sales since most of the expenses are correlated with sales. Alam niyo po natin kapag kami benta tayo, yung benta natin, hindi yan automatically our income. Hindi yan, hindi yan neto agad or not income. So, nagkaharap pa tayong mga different expenses. So, under this, okay, kapag po tayo ay nagbabudget ang ating sales, kung paano ito mapupunta, or let's say, ano yung mga dapat pating bayaran, we need to take a look with different factors. And we have here the internal and external factor. Pag sinabi external, these are the factors happen outside the business. Pag sinabi namang internal, these are the things or events na nangyayari sa loob ng business. Okay? So, unahin na po natin dyan yung internal factors. Una dyan is about the production capacity. When we talk about production capacity, this is like a maximum potential of a business to produce finished goods with available budget and raw materials or input. For you to have a maximum of production capacity, syempre kakailangan mo ng mga raw materials, kakailangan mo ng mga tao, kakailangan mo ng mga machines, kakailangan mo din ng lokasyon para po i-produce ang yung products. And next, we have here the manpower requirement. So, alam naman po, po natin, without manpower, the businesses cannot run smoothly, the businesses cannot sell product, the businesses cannot produce anything without manpower. Next is we have here the management styles of a manager. Napaka-importante po na meron tayo mga team leader or let's say yung mga spearhead or let's say yung mga supervisor that can motivate us or that can motivate our people or manpower. For the fourth one, we have here the reputations and network of the controlling stockholders. Having a good reputation can definitely maximize the connection of a business in Another concern about the network and eh, mas madaling magkaroon ng control sa ating mga stockholders. And for the last, financial resources of the company production budget. Saan po ba magsisimula or saan po ba magkakalit yung ating resources for us to run our production. We need to have a certain budget for that. And also, we have here the external factor. Again, pag sinabi external factor, which are the things that we cannot control. So, una dyan is the GDP growth rate. Alam naman po natin na ang ating economy, ayan, ay hindi po yan stagnant lang sa kanyang status. Ibig sabihin, time to time, nagkakaroon ito ng changes. It changes in terms of input or production, kalakalan, mga ganyan. So, nagbabago po ang ating growth rate. And then, another thing is about the inflation. Alam naman din po natin, ang pagtaas ng presyo ay hindi po natitikilan. We need to consider this in our sales budget. For the third one, we have the foreign exchange rate. Nangyayari po ito kapag po nakikipagkalakalan tayo sa ibang bansa. So, automatically, nagkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag na exchange rate. We need to consider the value of the currency of a country kung saan tayo nag-import or nag-export. And income tax rate. Ayan, isa rin yan on how can we budget our sales. Siyempre, na time to time, ayan, dahil may kinikita si business, kailangan niyang magbayad ng taxes as part of their obligation to their country. And also, development in the industry. Pina-analyze natin kung ito po bang uh, pinapasok natin business ay mag-progress ito in the long run. 
end the political crisis. So, in political crisis, syempre, we all know also, kapag po nagkakaroon ng changes ng mga uh, politicians or yung mga people na mamuno, nagkakaroon din tayo ng different uh, regulation, nagkakaroon din tayo ng different procedure on how can we manage our business. And regulatory environment, napakadami niya. Okay, napakadaming uh, regulatory bodies dito sa bansa natin. Okay, specifically on how they intervene no, sa mga businesses towards the consumers. We also need to follow them. Kasi syempre kapag hindi tayo nag-follow, there's a possibility na pwede na lang mapasara yung business. So, kamusta naman yung ating sales? Wala tayong magiging budget. And then, we also have the competition. So, in competition, why we need to consider this in our sales budget, we can have or we can come up with the competitive pricing. So, based on the competitive pricing, okay, we can identify kung yung ating po bang pricing na hindi naglalayo sa ating competitors ay nagiging competitive sa market. So, kapag ka naging competitive sa market, ayan, magiging part ito ng ating sales. And also, the last one is the economic crisis. So, kung sinabi economic crisis, um, kung na tayong lumayo, we are suffering from pandemic for the last two years. So, dito pa lang makikita mo na kaagad na wala pumapasok ng pera sa businesses. Or let's say, meron man, pero kukonti. Na kung saan, hindi nakakover no, lahat ng expenses ni business. So, kapag ka hindi nakakover lahat ng expenses ni business, there's a possibility na magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng effect sa ating production capacity. Nagigets yun. The external and internal factors are related to one another. Next is we have here the budgeting cash or the cash budget. So, ito naman po yung uh, pamamaraan no, ng mga companies natin on how they monitor their cash working capital assets. So, paano nila ito na ha-handle? Siyempre, meron silang mga different costs. Ito yung tinatawag na fixed and variable cost. Na nakaka-apekto para po magkaroon sila ng tinatawag na productions. And siyempre, kapag ka meron silang production and then nakapag- Uh, benta sila, it can definitely generate income or sales into the business. Thank you for listening.